Imagine if your ability to see started to drastically fade to the point you couldn't even tell the difference between daylight and darkness. It's pretty scary, right? Well, this was all too real for our next guest, Fran. I became aware of my night blindness when I was a child. And as I got into my teen years, I couldn't drive at night. I visited the optometrist. He recommended I see a retina specialist. That's when I received the official diagnosis that I had retinitis pigmentosa. RP is something that you're born with, and it's a degeneration of your peripheral vision. Without your periphery, you walk into door jams, trip over curves, veering into traffic. I am blind. I have just a little bit of light perception. Both my sons also have RP. My peripheral vision is almost gone. As I experience vision loss myself, I have a greater understanding of what life was like for her. It's inevitable that one day the lights are going to go out. After learning about a new technology, Fran went to visit Dr. Alan Ho at Will's Eye Hospital, hoping to get some of her eyesight back. What happens in retinitis pigmentosa is that the vision cells, the retina, begin to die off and wither. The bionic eye, or Argus II, is a retinal chip implant that bypasses the dead vision cells, giving them a perception of vision. Step is to make an incision on the outside wall of the eye through the sclera. The retinal chip is then placed to the back of the eye. That microelectrode array communicates with a cable to the outside of the eye around which we put an antenna that'll be the wireless receiver for the information. After that, we close the eye. Oh, I can't tell you how I feel. I got these glasses on and I turned around and I, I saw a door frame and I'm picking up other objects on the walls. Wow! Blinky, blinky, blinky. A little bit of sun coming in. Oh know. my God. Julie. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> and Fran is here along with her eye surgeon, Dr. Alan Ho. What a reaction. How amazing was that? It was unbelievable. Um, you know the phrase, my heart be still. I, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Just for, for us to kind of get some guidelines as to how much you can see, can you see my face? Can you see now if I'm Now looking at you? Yes. I can see your head. You can. <laughs> yes, I can. This is so amazing. It's amazing. I cannot tell you what color your eyes are. But you can. But I can see where you are. And I think that's remarkable because, Dr. Ho, we oftentimes take sight for granted. And even though you can't provide perfect vision, the ability clearly to, to make out things when you couldn't see anything before truly can change your life. You know, when Fran came to us, it wasn't really, she didn't really have expectations for her own eyes and for her own vision. She's one of the first to get this in the country. We did it at Will's Eye Hospital. But really she was hoping for her sons that it would be the first step that would allow somebody else to do better. And Eric, I want to bring you in because you also suffer from retinitis pigmentosa. And you know, you now said in that tape piece, you empathize with your mom like never before. How has it affected your life? And then how watching your mom's and progression, how has that changed the way you view your life going forward? Yeah, at, at this point, uh, I, I'm completely night blind. I use a cane uh, myself to get around in the dark in restaurants. Um, and so RP affects me every day in that regard. But I, I see my mother and I see this technology, and it's a very terrifying thing to think about going blind, but now to see this new hope at the end is very inspiring. And so this offers hope for virtually anyone else suffering out there. And if you do suffer from retinitis pigmentosa and want to learn more about this new procedure, be sure to visit the doctorstv.com. Dr. O, we can't thank you enough. Pleasure. For shepherding this new technology. Thank you. And friend, thank you very much.